Okay, hello Brandon or Cole, whoever. Uh, this is my second attempt uh, of teaching you how to install Red Alert. Uh, first time didn't go so well, and now I have this file right here, which I can't delete, but I'll take care of that later. Um, so pretty much you're just going to want to put in the CD. I'm running it off of a virtual drive, uh, Daemon Tools. Uh, there's also a virtual ISO or something that you can use that they recommend off their website. But um, I'm assuming you're running Windows 32-bit. Um, if you're not, you can check. Uh, just go up to My Computer System Properties. There should be a little tab there. and It should say your system type. 32-bit. Uh, if it's 64-bit, you might have to do something different. Uh, if, they, if you don't have that little tab, you can always go to Control Panel System. Shit, it says that up here, too. Um, so, okay. I'm running Cam Studio, if anyone wants to know, because HyperCam was being a jerk. Uh, Alright, so pretty much we're gonna go auto-run. Uh, you know, if you put it in your disk, it should say, you know, auto run, or you can just open my computer and click on your disk. You're gonna get this little window right here. Uh, it'll say you have the allied disk in there. Uh, just click proceed. Don't worry about any of it. Um, now you're gonna get this little window. I'm trying to go fast enough so the video is not long, but slow enough so you can follow. Do don't click install red alert uh, hit explore the CD and you can always go to my computer if you know it doesn't work right click hit open or explore doesn't matter and you get the same thing uh, so that's still there right, you want to go down to where it says setup um, .exe should be an executable file an application. Don't. It's not the folder. I don't know how savvy you are with computers, so I'm just trying to explain. Right-click the setup and click properties. Uh, come up here to where it has a little compatibility tab. Uh, click that. I'm trying to talk clearly. Go down to where it says compatibility mode. Click this little tab right here where it says run this program in compatibility mode 4. Uh, Click down and uh, choose Windows 95. Uh, like I said, this is an old game, but it's a classic and it's amazing. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. Uh, you can pretty much hit Setup from here, or you know, I'm pretty sure Install will work too. Just click Install, or just double-click Setup, and you should come to this window. Now. Go ahead and hit next. Uh, make sure you uh, uncheck this install uh, DirectX audio and video drivers. You do not need this. This is old stuff. Trust me. Your computer or already have everything it needs, and if anything, this will make things worse. So make sure you uncheck that. Uh, hit next. Uh, it'll install it under Westwood. Just hit next again. Of course. Just hit next again. Uh, I already installed it uh, before, so this uh, this might come up saying it doesn't exist. Just hit yes if it comes up. Uh, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. So it'll say all this junk, and just hit next again. And it should install relatively quickly. Uh, and so then it offers to install Westwood Chat. Uh, pretty much, just do it. Uh, just hit next. You don't have to, but if you want to play online, just pretty much you can just keep on clicking next and yes until it's done. I don't know if there's a newer version of Westwood Chat, uh, but Yes, uh, I don't know if you really need to restart your computer. He controls the past, commands the future, he commands the future, conquers the past, that's Kane. 
he's just a guy in the game who's apparently awesome. Um, so I'm going to try something I haven't done before, which is I haven't restarted the computer, so go figure. Uh, it might come up under new programs. Uh, for you, just keep it basic. Westwood Red Alert. Just go to Red Alert Windows 95. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. You can't run the program yet. Uh, there's a little thing you need, which is this little baby right here, which I'm going to pretty much get rid of somehow, but not really getting rid of it. Just go to uh, uh, my computer. You know, start my computer. Go to Drive C. It's your operating system. Go down to Westwood. Uh, Red Alert. Go ahead and drag this into there. I already have it in there. Okay, well, that didn't work. But assume that I dropped it in there, and it's right here. Uh, and you can open this. Um, it should just run, but since I already have the files, I have to overwrite, so just why, why, why. Uh, and so then you're going to get a few more files that pop up in here. Um, so you want to find uh, where it says patch.exe. Double click that, and it's going to fix the game up for you so it'll run correctly. Um, and for safety, I would right-click on ra95.exe, uh, go to compatibility, and check run this program in compatibility mode for it in Windows 95. Um, that should be it. Um, if you want to run the game online, it's a completely different story. Um, but I'll teach you that. Uh, probably maybe in this, I don't know. I guess I'll do it now, but I'll just post it in a different video. You know. Uh, I don't know if this will run, but, uh, you know, if you want a shortcut on your desktop, just right click, create shortcut, drag it on your desktop. Uh, so, I don't know if this recording program is going to capture the game, but if it doesn't, well then, you'll still be able to hear me. So I'm just gonna open this. It should run. And you're gonna get these videos explaining the story. You can just hit escape. Yes. Because I uh, just keep on hitting escape. And uh, it's gonna throw you right in the game. Well, you can just hit escape or go up to options. It's just abort, hit abort, and it'll take you to the main menu. Uh, if you want to play the scrimmages, which I recommend, just hit multiplayer and scrimmage, and you know, choose your side, put your name, go ahead, learn the game. Uh, I will say, computer difficulty is extremely difficult even on easy, so maybe you might want to play the storyline. There's two different teams you can play as allies or the Soviets. Um, I gave the allied, so you have to play the story as allied, which, you know, good for you.